The new summer series, Chillin' at the Pavilion, kicked off last weekend at the Jackie Townsville Bear Creek Heritage Center. Peter Arnell was there, and he filed this report. Once upon a time, not long ago, in a land far, far away, there was a little boy named Vern and his brother Peter. <laughs> That's one way you can tell a story. Not as entertaining as Grio Melody Bell. Recently, she performed here for the Irving Libraries, and I had a chance to hear her story and to listen to her tell stories. originated in West Africa, mostly Senegal. It says Senegalese and French. Well, I started by uh, teaching school special education, and to get my children more involved with it, I taught them to tell the story through characters, and the principal got wind of it, and we ended up doing it for the whole school, where after that I became the uh, cultural arts church. Now, you know, I have some instruments for other people, too. Uh -huh. Now, her drum and my drum is a female drum. It's called Ashiko. And the male drum is called a djembe. And the one you buy, you can, uh, uh, you can play. And you can feel the head on your drum. Mm, what is that? Yeah, that's an animal skin. And one story I do love to tell is about myself. You see, I was born in West Dallas Projects. Now, we moved when I was young because my father and mother were able to buy their first house. This griot certainly has a lot of stories to entertain. So he traveled this time, and he was lonely. And he saw a house, and he went and knocked on the door. The man opened the door, looked at him, and said, ah! And slammed the door. And he went to the river, and he looked at himself. He said, oh, I look terrible. He said, no wonder the man slung the door in my face. Then again, I'll tell a story like uh, Ebony Locks and the Three Bears. Now, Ebony Locks was a little girl. She had long, beautiful locks of hair. Now, her real name was Kiki, but everybody called her Ebony Locks for her natural hair. Now, down on the table are those three delicious bowls of what? Cheese grits. She tastes Papa Bear Big Bowl, and she say the usual, it's too hot. The medium bowl, Mama Bear Bowl, she tastes, she say, it's too salty. You know, poor mama don't work too hard. She's probably put too much salt in there. Then there's a little bowl. And that's a little bear bowl. She tasted, what is it? Yes, she right. eat off. You know she hungry from checking out the forest. Now the moral of that story is, you are not supposed to go into anybody's house without your parents' permission. Okay. <laughs> so. And you can't be a griot without being able to sing. Oh, Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, black, black with silver button, but, but all down her back, back, back. This storyteller also uses games to make sure all ages have a good time. <laughs> a lot of the songs you hear, like Shopping and Bread, all of those stories, Mary Mac, Little Sally Walker, were made by black women in the South to teach listening skills and following directions. After retiring from teaching, Melody Bell became a storyteller full-time, and she stays busy. Yes, for libraries, for family reunions, for children's birthday parties, yeah. and of course for our many uh, museums around. So I make my rounds. Became a multi-million dollar radio station owner, and he lived happily ever after. The end. As you can see, Melody Bell is a much better storyteller, or should I call her griot, than I am. For About Town, I'm Peter Arnell. The next Chillin' at the Pavilion event is July 13th and will feature Harlem Renaissance stories and music. Visit cityofirving.org and click the calendar link for more information. Mm -hmm.